Back, ladies and gentlemen, to season 15 of Contest of Speed. We're here for the AM2 Championship at Brazil, Interlagos, one of the fan favorite tracks. We did it, uh, it is 4.3 kilometers, 15 turns. Uh, very uh, exciting race happened there this year. Max Verstappen coming through to effectively clinch his championship uh, without the formalities at the end of it, but uh, very fun track. And I'm here joined by the one, the only. Mr. Red Devil, AM1 champion, how are we doing, sir? Hello, uh, yeah, doing good. Uh, really excited to be back in the town. Been a bit of a break, but uh, yeah, results could be a fun track as always. Uh, it's all fun on the way. Should be a fun track, one of the bad tournaments as mentioned earlier. Lots of, lots of fun turns, very short track, so uh, quick lap times and uh, Lap times that we expect to be pretty close together uh, to go through the session tonight. So, expecting a close qualifying. There is a prediction up. Uh, any of you tuned into EU2 earlier today, there was a 107.644 on pole position. So, uh, we're aiming to see if AM2 could beat that tonight. That is prediction. Can AM2 beat the EU2 pole time today? Um, time will tell. But your uh, cost points can also tell how you feel about that. And, uh, yeah. Let us know in the chat. 
what, what are you leaning towards tonight, Devil? What, what do you think about that? Can we can we get down in the 107 tonight? Yeah, I think uh, you got to look at uh, someone like Orlando, Chipman, maybe even Red Arrow, you know. Uh, some of those guys are definitely fast. So we'll see if they can break it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Swedes is uh, looking like he's the first driver who's going to set a lap time. Uh, but he backs out. So maybe a double out lap for him. It's a very short lap, so uh, could be seen those guys trying to burn off a little bit extra fuel. Red right Arrow. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was just saying Red Arrow is probably the next to uh, start flying lap uh, behind going into uh, first uh, sector. So that's how the Sector 2, 52 2 for the middle sector split. Coming up into the long straight here in Brazil, the back straight, coming up into the line. Swedes actually sets a faster lap, 17 1, but uh, I don't think that's a competitive lap time for him. Uh, but Red Arrow about to cross the line now. 108 6 uh, for his uh, for provisional pole. 108 6 is the benchmark for tonight. Haas driver coming across the line to set that lap. Got a few more coming across. Let's jump on board with the other Haas driver as he's coming across the line. And uh, we take a gander at the standings as of the most recent race. A little bit of a weird one last time out in Miami. And in case you missed it there, M1K did take pole right before I pull up the standings. 108-415. Uh, bit of a weird one in Miami. Safety car glitch causing a whole bunch of issues for everyone. Uh, honestly, just the absolute worst. So um, hoping to not have any of that tonight. That being said, Orlando is leading the championship. Um, I believe after last race M1K did take the win but it was half points for that one so uh, M1K is in P2 uh, didn't gain any ground on that Jimin and Speedy gained ground Red Arrow did uh, lose uh, one, two positions last week so uh, he's looking to bounce back but uh, it's been McLaren and uh, Sauber and Haas to kind of start out the season so we're seeing if uh, tonight maybe another team can join the conversation uh, potentially Ferrari, potentially uh, Alpine looking good so far tonight. Uh, Devil, do you think anybody's going to be able to join the conversation in the top six tonight? Looks like the top six are, are those three teams that I mentioned. Yeah, I mean, definitely the Haas look strong. We'll, we're still waiting for the McLarens uh, to set a lap time. Orlando's still in the pits. Uh, DK Nortec uh, is going to be the next driver to uh, set a lap time here. Uh, I think it's going to be a competitive uh, one, maybe in the 108.5s, 108.6s. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of ERS though, so it should be interesting. Uh, as he crossed the line, 108.543, P2. Yeah. And Hysteria, actually, as we were talking about, someone who could potentially jump up into that conversation. He is sitting P5 now in Meta, another driver jumping into the, the front of the field. So lots of drivers uh, who do have pace in this tier, and I, I think that this track is really going to converge the field. So I'm absolutely looking forward to the night and uh, seeing what all the race action is going to bring us is uh yeah it'd be tight yeah definitely uh meta is someone who uh i think he just joined recently is it's his first league so he's been doing well i think uh as we see his teammate williams uh, asap loggy crossing the line 1095 p8 not too shabby not too shabby uh asap being the uh, veteran of the team there in contest of speed he's done quite a few seasons now uh, with costs, so yeah, uh, good to see him always coming back and uh, joining the Williams team with Meta this year. A couple drivers on their laps now. Let's jump and see what Witch they can do coming up the hill now through the final few turns. Kind of turn 15 here, not even really a turn, just hang, hugging the line. He's right behind his teammate, so uh, if you were with us last week, you may have seen. The absolute Alpine wall that they formed going through the slow section in Miami and uh, those guys know how to work together and uh, looking to make a formation start this and another driver yeah. jumping quietly into the top five tin man uh, we have 
mention him yet tonight, but I would put him in a, towards the front of the field on, on his pace, I think, at least, uh, at least in the top 10 in terms of pace. And uh, Yeah, uh, for sure. Let's see if you can join the conversation tonight, because uh, it is a quarter of the season done already. Weird to say that, but this is uh, round four, and uh, yeah, it's uh, one of two rounds remaining before the Christmas break. Oh no, sorry, three rounds. We have a triple header now before the Christmas break, and then a uh, long break for Christmas. Everybody's going to be just hanging out, uh, enjoying themselves up on board with Orlando now, because he and Chipman are starting their laps. Uh, Orlando finishing up his lap. Chipman about to start his lap, both uh, in se sequence with each other. Look like Chipman's giving a little bit of a tow up the hill, but uh, didn't orchestrate that one perfectly. And they're starting Orlando their laps. Orlando not pushing too much. He had a lot of ERS, but uh, didn't use it. And uh, not sure what the McLarens are doing there. Uh, honestly, a uh, bit of uh, racing here in uh, qualifying. <laughs> that would have compromised Shipman's uh, lap time for sure. Uh, but he does put in a 17 sixes. It looks to be competitive somewhere around uh, Red Arrow, I think. Uh, he also had something in the 17s. So we'll be interested, interested to see what his middle sector time is. But he has no ERS left, though, so I don't know if he's pushing. Maybe yeah. he used a lot of ERS in the first half of the lap on the straight. So, uh, yeah, we'll be interested to see the strategies of how these guys manage ERS through a qualifying lap. But it's about to cross the middle sector split. 52-3, not too bad. I think he can qualify. Uh, qualify somewhere in the 108s if he pushes uh, or is he going back into the pits no he is going to finish his lap about to cross the line 1087 p5 1087 for the mclaren driver yeah there's a little bit of a weird start to his lap there almost side by side with orlando in the turn one but um yeah uh, mm -hmm. who knows what is going on there i know those guys are good good buddies so uh, I'm, I'm sure they're <laughs> They're just uh, laughing about it, having a good time in qualifying tonight. And I believe that prediction is closed. So it was a 107.6. They're about eight tenths off of that mark right now to uh, close in on that prediction. The over looking slightly more likely at this point. But that being said, Orlando Chipman, have they got a representative lap yet? I don't know. And M1K, he's also mega quick in qualifying. So uh, honestly, we should jump on board with the Haas driver now. Looks like through sector one uh, he is uh marginally improving on his time wolf okami actually uh improved uh, or sets his first time 1093 speedy bullet uh is gonna be the next to cross the line he had a really banger of the middle sector but uh uh no ers left so about to cross the line it's all oh. position 108 yeah. one there's another one that you can never count out of the fight he has it in the bag even if he only has one shot at it um Look at that, 108-1, dropping that margin down, three tenths. M1K is green through one sector. He is uh, marginally down on uh, Speedy's uh, margin, though, of what he said just prior. So, But he has a ton of ERS, though, uh, more than what Speedy had. So I'm guessing he, if he had a good final corner, he's going to get set pulled. No. Oh, look at that. 1,300. 1300s from the pole position mark is converging very quickly here um, any other drivers could be on laps I think DK might be one of the ones just starting a lap uh, not sure I, I may have just finished it up. I'm not sure uh, let's look at Orlando Orlando's not uh, lighting the field or anything oh, Ace yeah. Aploggy is uh, seven tenths up he moved up did he move up to P89 1087 I'm not sure but uh, really cool is qualifying. Um, uh, Pablo, I did see your uh, your message, by the way. I, <laughs> I, was, I I missed it at first, but I, I caught up on it. We will we will watch Orlando's uh, final attempt here once he comes out of the pits for his final run. Don't think he's pushing now, or he could be pushing now. So let's let's see. Let's jump on board with player and driver. Rob Floyd crosses the line, uh, improves, but uh, no positions uh, gain. Uh, next time it will be uh, Mr. Bo crossing the line, 1072.
jumped on board with uh, the driver ahead of Orlando here, uh, and, uh, Red Arrow, and he is three, uh, almost four tenths up on his time. Uh, let's see what Orla Orlando's split is. Actually, uh, Red Arrow might be faster. Orlando not quite finding the same pace that the other drivers are at this point. Um, see, oh, Red Arrow, yeah, as you mentioned, comes across the line, sets pole position, Orlando going to improve, just beats the teammate, but uh, no gain in position besides that for McLaren drive. Nothing, uh, no improvement uh, for uh, DK as well. Uh, Tin Man the Rowdy is on a lap. So is his teammate. Uh, I th oh no, he just finished the lap. Tin Man the Rowdy uh, going into the middle sector split now. He is a uh, tenth and a half up on his time, so he's looking to get into the top five, maybe. He has a ton of ERS left, so let's see where this puts him. He's getting a little bit of a tow from the Aston Martin. Coming across the line now, it is going to be a 108.6. P7 puts him about Chipman, splitting the McLarens. Wait, <laughs> Potty, what do you have to have some words with me? What did I do? Yeah, good lap with uh, good lap from Tim Man there. Lots of drivers in the pits as it stands. Red Arrow, I believe he is returning to the pits as well. Um, getting ready for the final few runs. Looks like it's going to stay dry. <laughs> well, we need some action, so I hope there's uh, some wet action during uh, the race. But uh, yeah, it's quietly settling down a little bit right now. I think the next driver who's going to set a lap is probably with Jay in the Alpine. The grip is going into the pits, I think. With Jay is a tenth and a half up on his time. He's down in P17 right now. Coming up into the middle sector. Honestly, I've forgotten all the corner names in this track. I know there's a Nita Delago I can pull and, them up on uh, the screen. <laughs> For us, uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, where's the turn names option? Track turns. There you go. This is uh, Mergula. Ooh. Turn 11. Junkau. Ah. Turn 12. Ah, that is really nice. Yeah. That's a really cool feature. Yeah, Jun Sao, the final uh, corner. Uh, Shibido has... those boxes? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I, okay, I can't pronounce that. That's just unfair. As Woodjay improves by half a second, it goes up into P13. Red Arrow out. Doing his run. Rob's boy. Fireball goes into the pits. Hysteria is matching his time in the first sector. He's probably the next person to set a competitive lap as Red Arrow begins his uh, final run for pole position. Oh, Mr. Bo left the session? Yeah. Well, it says he joined, so I don't know. <laughs> Pablo. Um, Easy, Pablo. Relax. Saying my pronunciation is better than my driving. That's just out of pocket. You try to pronounce turn 15. Look at it right now. I know you're from Spain. Maybe you'll have a... Or you're born in Spain. Maybe you'll have a better chance than me. I... I stereo goes into the pit. Sorry. That's okay. uh, who's next? I think maybe Chipman is on a lap. ASAP Loggy as well. Chipman. Uh, setting a purple first sector. I couldn't catch the split, but uh, it did show purple on the track map, so we shall see. ASAP Loggy slightly at a, ahead of him. Rob's boy, possibly the next driver to cross the line. 1091 P12, stays P12. That is on a lap. Orlando's on a lap. Titman is still in the pits. Chipman's on a lap. Jump with Orlando here. He is the championship leader in AM2 after three rounds. Looking to prove for him where he is in qualifying. It, he's about a half a second down of Red Arrow's. Uh, Chipman's banker. flying here though. Chipman 108 
Oh my god, six thousands between Chipman and Red Arrow. Yeah. Red Arrow is in the pit. He's out, he's done in for qualifying. Yeah. Red Arrow's not gonna be able to respond to that. And here's wow. Orlando's attempt. He is a 1082. It is just so compact in there that he's uh, not able to find any uh, jump in position, but. Let's see who's on a lap. ASAP Loggy couldn't improve. Soul Flat Top is about to cross the line now. 1087 P9 oh, nice. for the V Carb. Nice lap. Good lap there from the V Carb driver. Through the grid this season. One of his uh, better qualifying performances so far. He's loving the track in Brazil. DK Nortex coming across the line now. I think M1K is just starting his final lap. Still 30 seconds left to start your final lap. DK Nortec though, that is gonna be his final attempt. It is a 108.475. If he is out of ERS. As uh, McCrib is about, or the next driver to cross the line, it's gonna be a 109.3. Good improvement, P9, uh, P, sorry, P15 for him. Other drivers, with Jay's uh, mowing the lawn here through turn eight and jumping away from the other drivers finishing their laps bunch of checker flags popping out now is speedy gonna pull a shock pole position here he only needs a tenth to jump ahead of chipman he's just a, exactly a tenth behind so uh first sector off his personal best not lighting up the timing page so far meta kestrel is actually the next across the line let's see if he can challenge for that pole position 108.9, no uh, improvement there for him. That was a 108.2, actually. I don't know what your obsession is with number nine right now. And M1K actually jumps just immediately behind his teammate there up to P3. It's speedy. Oh, Speedy's getting a toe from DK Nortec across the line here. And it's good enough to split the Haas team. And uh, as we mentioned, Meta Kestrel is one of the only of those three teams we mentioned earlier on to jump into that top six. So there are some new contenders. Tin Man also in in the mix there. Uh, I think uh, yeah we've got Haas, McLaren, Haas, McLaren, and then uh, yeah both the Sauber's. Yep. Pretty good qualifying there. Top 12 uh, separated by only a second, and it's not like there's a big difference between the rest of the field. Only, I think, Bade is a little bit off, but, uh, yeah, the top 18, they don't, uh, they have the pace, I think, uh, to make some moves during the race. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see what happens uh, in the race here. It's, it's nice to see a little bit of a split, potentially Haas in the, in the driver's seat with both their drivers starting right behind one another. Um, is that the outside line that they get going into turn one? Right. Yeah, they do, yeah. So they're but, starting uh, on the grippier side of the track, and it'll if they can yeah. get a good jump, get around. That yeah, there's uh, two, uh, uh, I think, uh, two uh, Kicksalbers, two Hasses, two McLarens, two Williams, uh, and uh, one Red Bull and a Visa Cash App in the uh, top 10. So it could be, you know, teammate against teammate here in the race. Yeah, look at that. Down to P12, only one second gap. Wolf Okami, one second away from pole position, and still in the mix down all the way to P12. Very close. Uh, AO serving his qualifying ban this week. That is going to be qualifying. We will be back to start this race in just a moment. Get your predictions into the race. We will fill out that uh, race prediction because obviously we did not get to the 107s tonight. But uh, yeah, we'll see you back in a moment. Back to contest to speed. Contest to speed. Contest to speed. Contest of speed.
And just in time, we are back here for the lights here in Interlagos. J-Man is leading the field away from Red Arrow, Speedy, and M1K going into turn one. The Haas on the inside, actually, going into oh, turn Hysteria one. Oh, wide. Hysteria has uh, gone wide, and uh, I'm not sure what's happening. He's trying to join. Oh, and there's a huge crash from first and second into the wall. He's out. Arrow is out. Arrow and Chipman getting into the wall out of turn one. Oh, my goodness. Chipman losing the front end play. Red Arrow losing the front end of his car. Oh god, Ed Speedy Bullet is now in the lead of the race. Virtual uh, safety car is out at lap one. We didn't even get a chance to get settled in there. Boys were ready Chipman, to go. Chipman is missing his right end, end play, which is obvious. Uh, and uh, wow, I can't believe that's just a virtual. You see wow. just, just the edge of that collision there at the start of the replay. We'll, we'll let it run once again. Rob's boy is also missing his right end plate, or left end plate, sorry. Hysteria, even though uh, they went wide, they still have uh, all pieces of the car. Drive through for M1K and Meta, I think. Oh my goodness, drive through is coming through. After the VSC going in, this is, race has got flipped on its head early on, and Speedy got a huge jump to start this VSC over. Uh, Meta Kestrel on the side of oh. M1K going in and a 10 second speeding penalty for Jimin. M1K is at the grass. What is going on? Oh my god, these guys are just fighting it all out on track. Orlando up to P3. Uh, DK trying to make the move down the inside. Doesn't get it done this okay, time. Though. Speedy's up. Speedy is off. Speedy is off into the distance. Meta actually got away decently after uh, the collision that we just witnessed with M1K. I cannot believe the hectic start that we've had to tonight. Look at that track map. That McLaren in the background. They are leading the Constructors' Championship, and they have just gotten their red, uh, the race flipped on its head once again. Oh my God! Open lobby is right. This is absolutely bananas to start the round four race here in AM2. These guys had a week off and it shows. They're ready to race tonight. Um, ready to absolutely give us a show. <laughs> and we were potentially yeah. not ready for that. Yeah, look at that. P2 to P14, uh, all within a second of each other. But Speedy is just flying. Speedy is flying to start this race. And uh, all important getaway, all important first few corners, and uh, crucially, unfolded the race for Chipman and Red Arrow in that first turn. Two main contenders in the drivers and the constructors um, falling along with Tin Man now and we can see C9 Wolf has also jumped into P6. They're holding off ASAP Loggy. Uh, wow. We were talking about other contenders joining in that fight of the championship. There's one right there in P6 as it stands in these early stages of the race uh, looking to hold off ASAP Loggy and Williams is looking Rather, uh, rather aggressive right now. They're hanging on to the rear of that Mercedes. The Mercedes is also on the hard tire, whereas everybody around him are either on the mediums or on the softs. Only two people on the hards, Wolf Wakami and Fireball, who's down in P14. Uh, the Sweet's on the softs, AO2 uh, with Jay, all on the softs. AO also started last, uh, moves up into P11. As uh, Tin Man, or sorry, Meta Pits, uh, M1K Pits, deserve their drive throughs. There goes ASAP Loggy through in the P5. Sweens is right on the rear of Wolf Okami now. As we mentioned, he's on the hard tire. He's on a different strategy, but he is uh, doing well to be up in P6 and under. A little bit of pressure right now, though. Mr. Bo also having a great start up into P11 now, losing a position to Witche, both on the softs, uh, but still a good start from him. McGrib also having a good start to the race, up into P8. After all the chaos and the drama, some of these guys at the back have really benefited uh, from, uh, you know, guys like uh, Red Arrow having a moment, uh, M1K and Meta getting penalties, Chipman, getting a penalty and, and a broken 100%. wing, you know? A hundred percent. I mean, if you look at the, just look at the championship uh, order, it is completely upside down in this race right now because you got a couple passes uh, completely at the back, one of them out, and 
players out there as well. So, uh, changes the complexion of the championship as it stands. We'll see what happens with the rest of this race. Uh, a safety car could bail these guys out, but Witche is pulling alongside the Wolf. Wolf is pulling in the inside. Oh, he can't get away through. He loses another position there, but how long until these hard tires start to fire up Red Devil? There's no better person to ask that question than you. I feel like uh, you may know this answer. Yeah, I think uh, around lap eight, lap nine, they should feel like the better tire, honestly. As I think Soul uh, Flat Top had a moment. He's uh, dropping down the field. Now down in P17. Uh, DK Nortec hanging. Oh! Sweens had a huge moment going into, uh, what was that, turn six. And his car ghosted. He lost position. There's some end plates flying. Uh, I don't know if that was Wolf potentially getting into the back. Oh, it was. His left end plate is completely gone now. Uh, a little bit of a collision there with Sweens, who had a moment and and was ghosted. So uh, his uh, his race is sort of unfolded here with the hard tire. Oh, oh no, that's actually uh, yellow. Yo, that's not Wolf. That's A O. Yeah, I was I was just about to say that. Uh, I mean, uh, Wolf has uh, his end plates and, and everything, but uh, yeah. Mr. Bell looks like he had a moment and he's down now. Uh, or Orlando still able to keep that uh, P2. Uh, uh, it looks like he has more, uh, I don't know, straight line speed maybe because DK has not been able to close up on him in the DRS zones. Uh, Orlando slowly uh, gaining on speedy there. Caps have uh, been about 1.4, 1.5-ish for the last lap or so. And the Tim Man, two two seconds in and change behind that. Uh, but look at ASAP Loggy. Uh, not too far behind, yeah. but sitting in P5 for the Williams. And uh, he's having a pretty good race for himself so far. Yep. Uh, at the back here, uh, looks like uh, Meta has had a better drive through attempt than uh, M1K. M1K is down to P17. Meta is already up into P13. It's not too far uh, behind the midfield pack, so he can get into the points if he wants to. As DK finally takes the lead, or P2, makes a move on Orlando, but so will Orlando... <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, will Orlando fight back going into the seat of the Lago, I think? Oh, yeah, yeah. we got to get the turn names back up, but... Uh... <laughs> Uh, DK Nortec forming that Sauber 1-2 as it stands. Uh, th those gentlemen really uh, looking for that tonight. Uh, they, are, they are in the fight for the constructors, but they are the third team in that in that conversation. So a strong performance tonight can absolutely roll them back into that conversation, especially with two of the uh, four drivers that they're competing with having a little bit of a, a shocker to start this one off. Now, can Orlando use... DK Nortec here to slingshot himself up into uh, the DRS of Speedy uh, as Red Arrow finally leaves the session. Uh, unfortunate for him, but yeah. he, Orlando now all over the back of the Sauber moves up into P2. Oh, Yellows. I think it was a McLaren Chipman oh, actually. Nope. Happened it's Hysteria. Minutes. It's Hysteria or one of the Aston Martins. Aspen? Mr. Bow. I think. Bow, yeah. Yeah, as Woodjay makes a move, Ao actually going into the pits to get rid of those soft tires. Those soft are dead. Now, see uh, what I said there, Orlando now, only yeah. 1.0. He's I, back, he's back in the DRS. I was just about yeah. to say that Orlando is closing and he's closing quick. Speedy Bullet is uh, potentially spent a bit more of his tires a little bit earlier, a little bit of lapse of concentration there. He is harvesting battery, crucially, while the others are uh, not blinking right now so uh, potentially low on battery potentially harvesting battery right now trying to build up a little bit of ERS before we blast down the straight where the ERS matters look at that the gap is already back to 1.4 seconds before we get to the DRS detection point speedy bullet Let's, I think you let I think Orlando he's get even... back in and he just managed that gap very well through the middle sector so maybe he's got a little bit more uh, downforce applied to that Sauber as compared to Orlando 
Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. I think Speedy is running a lot more down force than Orlando. You can see he is closing on the straights, but Speedy's just... Oh, uh, I think there's a, a Beige, actually, uh, going wide and losing a few positions. Now down in P16. As DK makes a move up in, back into P2. So it looks like DK is actually the fastest in the speed trap. He is a 330 km an hour speed trap on lap three. Um, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but uh, could have been with a toe ERS and DRS applied there. Who knows how accurate of a reading that could actually be, but he has used that to get himself ahead for Orlando and he's bought him, his teammate a little bit more time here. Um, this battle crucially. Not costing them too much time to Tin Man, but uh, distancing them, uh, distancing them from the lead of the race. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think what's also happening is DK is kind of holding Orlando up, and it's helping Speedy pull away. Now look at the gap. Now it's 2.1 seconds, and uh, the lack of downforce maybe on DK's car is actually helping Speedy pull away, especially through that middle sector. 100%, yeah, it is uh, really benefiting the side right now, but look at this, McLaren really having a good run as we jump on board with the Helicam. Oh, these drivers not willing to give an inch, but looks like the position has been given to Orlando there. He's 1.9 behind now. Uh, is this gonna be a definitive moment in the race? How long are these medium tires gonna last? Pit strategy is gonna come into play here because DZG Speedy, the leader of this race, took a fortunate opportunity after uh, the, the two uh, leaders collided, the pole sitter and the P2 collided. He is taken off, but uh, he's not out of undercut range as it stands. Wolf Okami also having a fantastic race up in P5 right now. Three seconds uh, uh, behind uh, Tin Man. ASAP Loggy trying to get hit, uh, into his DRS, but. Uh, I think those hard tires in Wolf Wakami's car right now are going to be performing a lot better. That's a great point. Yeah, he did extremely well to buy himself a little bit of uh, an advantage. Honestly, he, he gained a ton of positions. Let's take a look at the driver info and uh, look at the race story. Started 12th, now 5th on the hard tires. Ooh, a little bit of a slide going through Curva del Sol and uh, is still out of uh, DRS range. Of ASAP Loggy, I think, but uh, th like you said, those hard tires working really well for him now at this stage. The hard point uh, of the race is done where everybody else had the advantage over him. Now it's starting to come towards him, and uh, he's already made a huge jump in position, even though theoretically that should have been the toughest part of the race for him. Yep, for sure. Uh, Meta Kestrel actually do having a great comeback after uh, the uh, drive through. He's up into P8 now. He's only like seven seconds behind his teammate. Seven and a half, maybe. Well, if he's got the pace, he should maybe get into the top five. Uh, he still has a pit stop to make, though. He's still running on those mediums, but a good recovery drive from him. M1K still down in P11, but uh, not uh, we're, well, very close uh, into the points. Couple of drivers opting the pit. Looks like Chipman making a wing change, going on the hard tire on lap 12, down in P18. Uh, it's a tough, tough week uh, for the McLarens uh, in Miami with the safety car issues, and, and it's just really unfortunate to see this pole position unravel like that. Uh, hopefully, for his sake, maybe a safety car can come out. But these boys, you know, they've been pretty good at keeping that safety car uh, in the pit lane this season. Only one race so far with the safety car coming out. Rob's boy getting a three second time penalty there. Uh, AO, with, after making the pit stop, is trying to make a move on Sweets, both on fresh rubber right now. Uh, both started on the softs. Sweets covering up the inside. But with that over speed, AO is able to move, make a move around the outside, moves himself up into P16. Now 1.3 seconds behind Beige in, uh, for P15. Orlando has uh, leapfrogged DK, and uh, he's out of DRS threat right now. 
Page rage is hard oh, for the session. Page, page. Page is rage out. is out. The Ferrari driver through the infield section. Looks like he's had a bit of a moment there and he's found the uh, safety car oh, button. Oh, making a move uh, under the safety car? Oh, oh, what, what, what's happening between Sweets and uh, Ao here? Uh, a position, oh my goodness, a 15? Wait, what? Do they think, uh, do they know safety cars have it? Okay. Oh, Sweeney's let him buy again. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I just hope there's no damage on uh, AO's car, though. But everybody into the pits, except the leaders. Yeah, these guys are um, going to be at least not trapped by the safety car, uh, but they are withheld by that Delta. So they're going to be looking to pit this lap. I don't think they're going to lose any positions uh, just because of that Delta holding everybody else back. Um, he did not get caught by the safety car before it went by. So the in goes Speedy, our leader as it stands. And this is that safety car that we mentioned. Uh, I, I may have jinxed it, um, saying that they haven't pulled out the safety car very often this season. But um, this is the safety car we mentioned that could be a lifeline to shipment to a couple of those drivers that are a little bit out of position tonight. Um, honestly, giving a, a couple other drivers the opportunity to, to shine. Look at Wolf Okami, Thin Man the Rowdy, oh. ASAP Vloggy, Mikarib, all those drivers up in the top 10. And, uh, and uh, if, uh, yeah, I've just realized uh, the uh, the Saubers have had to double stack, but DK still keeps the position. He is still in P3, just uh, was able to get up ahead of Tin Man. So, nothing lost there for uh, the Kick Salvers. Wolf Okami would probably be kicking himself. He would have liked would have liked the safety car maybe a few laps later. Yep. But uh, he's still up there in P5 and he can make the moves and if he's able to stick with these guys, uh, 20 laps on the mediums is a lot, but you know, uh, if you can manage your tires a little bit, then maybe, you know, he might get a top 10 finish or even higher uh, than what, where he is right now. So, we'll see so, how it goes. Yeah, that strategy was really playing towards him. And, and you're right, the safety car just came out a little bit too early for his liking. But let's see. It is a long race still. It, who's saying that this is the last safety car? We shall see how it goes. So, but. He is one of the biggest gainers in this race. He has gained seven positions. Mick Rib getting nine positions. Uh, M1K is down. Chipman, probably the biggest loser. He was the pole sitter. He's down he's 17 right now. So, uh, can he make some inroads this race? Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a point swing in the, in the championship. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, the not sure where the uh, I, are McLaren leading the constructors uh, right now. Yeah. Who's in P2? Uh, sorry, I should be uh, you know paying more attention, but okay, yeah. Um, looks like it is the pause, and uh, they can actually open up a gap uh, with the McLarens. Well, there's only one McLaren in there. Yeah, Red Arrow is out of the race, and uh, the other Haas is still out of the points. But you would expect M1K to make some moves. Uh, Williams actually looking good to gain a few points here, as well as kick Saubers uh, and make up that ground. So it is going to be interesting uh, going into uh, one third of the season, you know, uh, with four constructors possibly fighting it out. For that uh, title, hundred percent. Yeah, it is a bit of a life find. A couple of drivers, M1K, getting his first win actually in Condon Speed last week. So um, not the not the follow up that he would have been hoping for, but he does have an opportunity here. He is not out of this race yet. He's on the hard tire, We're gonna have what twenty or so laps to go. Um, It's all to play for. He has some good pace. It's a short track, so uh, it's going to be tough.
tough to find any pace over anybody, but it is possible to overtake here. So if he does have any pace in hand over those ahead, uh, sure he can use that DRS. Uh, it's going to be tough for the first few laps and everybody's together, but you know, it's 20 laps to go. It's still a long race. I thought the safety car would be in by now, but it looks like we're going around for another lap. You see everybody wheeling, trying to get the temperature up in those tires. The hard runners will have it difficult. That's where I think Wolf will come and capitalize. Even someone like Hysteria or Widjay, who are on those mediums, as well as Fireball maybe. Rest of the grid all on the hards, as Fireball has left the section. Uh, I don't know if I... I think I still have time to sprint to my beer fridge and grab another one. Okay. As I don't think I have Fireball uh, in my friends list, so if he wants to get back... Uh... I'm pouring this one out for Fireball then. <laughs> no. Uh, he'll get you at it or... I don't know. Yeah. Tim Man will send him an invite. But the safety car is in this lap. Race control has just notified us. And uh, it's going to be speedy. Leading the field away. Let's get rid of that safety car overlay before I forget. Okay. Back. Ready to the live feed. Speedy leading us away. Now on lap 17. There's a little bit of a gap in the field, actually. What happened there to start this one? Um, a good, a good, a good couple of seconds between a couple of positions there, but uh, we're away. Speedy leading us off. Looks like the Williams are coming uh, wheel to wheel here. Wolf Okami maintaining his position. ASAP Loggy staying ahead, but going off track through turn five. The Desia de Lago uh, going to be a little bit of a track warning there. Furadura is next. Looks like Meta Kestrel is closing in on that position, on that restart. We're back to green. And, uh, Speedy looked to be on it though. He's already pulled a 9 tenth gap on Orlando. And uh, if, uh, you know, if he's able to put in a second sector like he has been on the next lap, I think he'll be gone again. But uh, we'll see how the straight line speed is of Orlando. And, uh, you know, uh, slingshot himself in the first sector into the DRS of Speedy, but yeah, it's gonna be close. I just uh, jumped on board now with Chip, and he's at the back of the grid, uh, but uh, he's trying to make some inroads. See ahead, Sweeney's and AO battling into turn one. Is Chip and gonna have any or enough pace to overcome uh, this hole he's dug himself? Uh, Meta Kestrel making the move on his teammate ASAP Loggy is up into uh, P6. Wolf Okami all over the back of Tin Man the Rowdy as well. He's pushing him through the corners. He has so much grip on those mediums right now. M1K and Chipman both making inroads pretty quickly here. Oh, the inside Rob's boy goes trying to fight the Haas off. They leave some room and they those drivers making some. Uh, nice, nice racing there from those two gentlemen there. Some audacious yeah, moves, yeah. but uh, make, making them stick. Orlando and Speedy have broken uh, the DRS, and DK doesn't have that rear wing assistance right now. Orlando using all his battery, looks like, uh, to get back into the, the DRS of Speedy. He is flashing, but uh, yeah. Let's see how that goes. Witje is actually losing positions. Fireball has joined. Uh, unfortunately, he's down in P16. Oh, yellow flag. Looks like one of the Aston Martins is off the track. It's Hysteria, I think. Mr. Bo? Maybe. Oh, we got a uh, Alpine, I think, here is leading. This field is that witchy. Oh Fireball my getting god! The, <laughs> Fireball getting the 10 second penalty, but oh he's not even in the car. <laughs> Through turn nine, these guys are three wide. 
Oh my gosh! ASAP Loggy, Chipman, and AO. Oh, Chipman's off the track. This is chaos. This is absolute wow. chaos. Wow, so, uh, Fireball is also uh, off into the grass. Wow, not sure what's happening. I have no idea what just happened there. Chipman was making a, uh, some good inroads, but he's caught a little bit of a crazy pack here, and uh, he's just trying to navigate his way through safely. Take a look as he's peeking to the inside, going down the straight on the left of Hysteria. He's going to make it his position, uh, position up to P13. Replay here. And that was absolute chaos through turn 8. We went chip in. Just trying to get the switch back on ASAP and AO. Oh, three wide going into uh, June Sa or uh, Decida Delago and. Uh... Uh, with Jay and, uh, and who's that? Uh, for Ro Rob's boy actually making up a position up into P7. Fireball has retired from the left session. Yeah. Wait, was that on track? I didn't think it was. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, thankfully, there's no safety car, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Tin Man actually getting ahead of uh, Kane Norton. Sauber across the line now. He's up into a podium position. Fireball joined back. I think oh, he may have had the glitch. Oh, DK Nortec yeah. to the inside in a turn one. Sauber's trying to fight this position back. And then actually maintaining the lead as it stands. He's going to have to defend the DRS now, I think, of DK Nortec going into turn four. M1K no. also fighting back. Ch uh, Chipman three second time penalty. Uh, Chip, uh, sorry, M1K up into P7 uh, right now, getting some good points for the Haas team. M1K doing very well, and Chipman also, like I said, he was making some pretty good inroads just behind M1K, but he kind of ca got caught up in that. Oh, mess. Speedy! Speedy, three seconds! Speedy oh, getting no. a three second penalty. That is huge for the leader of the race. Take a look at all the penalties. I can't believe that you screamed that loud. <laughs> I mean, he was doing so well, and yeah, that just—he—he uh, he now needs to open up that gap. But we'll see how it goes. The Orlando, Orlando. fan club is going absolutely crazy right now um, because the kick saber head has just got the three-second penalty. So he could be just getting pulled along here to the victory if he keeps it clean. He has no warnings to his name. Tin Man behind with two warnings. He's on the edge of a penalty. DK with only one. Um, obviously, Rob Boy got a penalty. Chipman's got a penalty as well. That's not going to help his charge. M1K sitting clean. That's going to definitely Meta, benefit him. Meta looking to make a move on uh, DK Nartek going into Decida Delago. Oh and, my oh, god! Oh, Tin Man losing the wing there, I think. A uh, bit of an ambitious move there from uh, Meta, I think. Uh, he lets the. Uh, position uh, back or gives the position back to DK and uh, Tin Man uh, I, it looks to be uh, intact though uh, I don't see any wing damage on any of those three drivers uh, good sportsmanship at least uh, from a meta to give that position back yeah definitely good sportsmanship there from these drivers don't want to see that on track I think I saw some end plates flying. I'm trying to spot them as we go down the straight. Tin Man looks like he's clean. Could it be a Williams end plate then uh, that we're looking for that potentially flew off? Well, uh, well, you get the. Uh, there's a glitch when you uh, take the exit of uh, Decida Delago, where uh, if you take the curb, there's like particles flying. So you might have just seen that. Maybe I did. Cause I think unless. Meta's left end plate's gone and he has got a decent run now going into the same corner in the turn four. DK on the inside of Tin Man. Where are they going to be on the exit? Oh my goodness. DK looking like he's going to hang on to that position, but Tin Man has the inside into turn six. Going too wide through here is not a good idea, but they make it work. Tin Man maintaining that lead. Fantastic racing from these two drivers here. Really close stuff, but Tin Man maintains that lead for one more lap here. Is he going to be able to have enough straight line speed down the straight without DRS to hold these two drivers back? Uh, it looks like another driver that we have not mentioned in a minute, C9 Wolf, quietly joining this fight, and he is on the medium tire. So, um, 
Well, another driver who's slowly making his move is M1K. He was seven seconds behind a few laps ago, but with all the fighting that they're doing for P3, M1K is uh, slowly but surely closing in for, uh, into that battle. 100% he is, and there goes DK into turn one. Timman doesn't fight this one off too hard, but is he trying to look for the switchback? He is, and oh, DK is getting completely wide. Was there a little bit of contact there? I can't really tell. DK loses the position. He doesn't have the DRS. Meta's going to go through now. Chipman into the points, up into P9, making the moves on Rob's boy and Hysteria. Uh, into the points for the McLaren, but he does have that 30 seconds time penalty hanging hang over his head. Uh, so that will uh, push him down up or down into P11. Is the clip bot broken? Uh, apparently, I'm hearing from the chat that the uh, clipping bot is oh. not working right now. See there, a little oh, replay wow. from DK Nortec getting a little bit sideways there, but uh, still hanging on the car. That's where he lost the position. He lost two positions actually, but. Looking a little bit racy on the back of the Williams right now. Tin Man trying to open up that gap. Maybe safe on this attempt. Going across the line. Trying to maintain that podium position. Looking off the rear wing of the Red Bull. Now, no DRS available. No moves happening into turn one. But those drivers behind getting ever closer. Are they going to have the run? Going into turn four now. I don't think so. But I've been proven wrong before. And here goes Meta on the inside. I absolutely love to see this racing. And we're in for another lap of it. Meta is jumped in the lead. M1K is absolutely living. Oh, Meta losing the back end. And he actually gives up the position. Two positions again. So DK making wow. up a little bit. As uh, quietly, Orlando has moved into the lead of the race for the first time tonight. Uh, but Speedy's, uh, you know, I think with the pace he has in the middle sector, he's all over the back of the McLaren. M1K now only 2.4 seconds behind uh, this fighting pack. And the more they fight, the more it helps uh, someone like M1K uh, get in as ASAP Loggy, unfortunately, has a three second. He's down in P16. Not really sure what happened to him. Unfortunate for him. Looks like Speedy's trying to fight off Orlando here, taking back the lead. He does have that three second penalty, as you mentioned, but not ready to give this one up. He wants to have a little bit of battling, at least. They're eight seconds ahead. C9 oh, Wolf no. picks up a penalty. Oh no. He was doing so well, but uh, these guys go three, three wide. wide. The seat of the logo. DK Nortec wisely backs out, but there goes Meta through. Is he going to be able to hang oh, on? Boy, and it's up, Rob's out. Boys out. He's out, coming out of, uh, I think, uh, what is that? Turn, uh, uh, the Senna S, three. Curva del Sol? Uh, yeah, Curva del Sol, yes, you are right. Yeah, going into uh, Red Hot Pasta. Uh, and ASAP Loggy with the drive-through. Oh, oh nice, my. slow down, slow God. down. Drive through under the safety car. We're gonna have probably eight or less laps to go once we get going green here. Are any drivers gonna opt for the soft tire? take a look at the most recent replay that we have but uh strategy is is opening up here anybody gonna take a gamble orlando is driving up to the pits first jesus drivers going three wide he does decide to pit so does uh speedy this is unraveling his race uh with that three second penalty there goes meta into the pits tin man's gonna pit oh, dk dk decides DK? to stay out stays what? out on the hards Orlando goes to the mediums. Uh, Speedy to the mediums as well. Let's see what uh, some of the other guys pick. Wolf Okami is going to the softs. Tin Man on the mediums. Meta on the mediums. Ooh, this is going to get spicy. Uh, not really sure why DK didn't choose to pit there, but maybe he's playing the team game, though. Maybe he is looking to maybe become a blocker for Orlando and let Speedy through, you know? But he's still compromising his own race, so I'm not really sure what's the plan here. It's a busy pit lane down in Brazil, I think. Looking pretty sunny out there, but we might as well check the weather forecast, because you never know. This is about the time that we start to see some clouds rolling in in Miami. Um, but, oh, interesting, interesting. 
Uh, these guys aren't gonna want to make two more safety cars. I think we're out of range of that rain, but uh, later on, Brazil is gonna get poured on the post ratio. So, hopefully, no more safety cars. Uh, it is approximate yeah. weather. It could always come quicker than we expect, but uh, keep an eye on the clouds, ladies and gentlemen. There is rain in the area. I see a couple of drivers switching positions. Not sure what's happening here, but uh, Ao and Mr. Bo, Ao, uh, and they're they're just standing still on track. I think it, well, one of them has like go uh, you overtake or something <laughs> like that. FIA is like. Uh, yeah, he should be ahead. No, if I uh, the other ones like you no, know, you should be ahead. They're just letting each other there. overtake, and they're just not catching up to the field. So, oh still, well. Still two more drivers behind him though. So. Um... Oh oh, Soul. Uh, wait, what happened to Soul? Uh, why is he dropping down? Oh, he went wide into the Santa S's, going into the Santa S's, and uh, he's now down in P10. He was up in P4, I think, uh, on 14 lap old hard tires, but. Uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately for him, uh, his effort of staying out, he's going to be in vain. Yeah. Let's take a look at the tire age now. EK Nortec on the 14 lap old hearts. Him, Soul Flat Top are the only two that opted to stay out. Everybody else is on fresh tires, whether it be medium, whether it be soft. Uh, those are the two selections for those who did it. So. Not much longer now, we should see some green flag action. Yeah, uh, I think there's two more drivers uh, yet to catch up to this pack, so I think we'll go another lap behind the safety car. We got Wolf Akami, M1K, and like you mentioned, Hysteria on those softs. Would be interesting to see how quickly M1K can uh, you know, make his way through the field. He's certainly shown pace uh, after that drive through. Uh, to come back up into P7. Both him and Meta actually do really well to still be the points after that early drive through. Uh, Chipman also in the points, uh, P9. Uh, I think Speedy, Wolf, and uh, Chipman will be kicking themselves for getting that three second time penalty. Speedy, especially uh, with the safety car, he'll now have to do all the work that he did again to get. Uh, good gap so he can maintain a podium position it's gonna be a little bit spicy but it is interesting to see that we do have um, three new constructors in that top six that we would we're not expecting tonight um, Sauber, Claire, and Haas being the front runners so far for, through the first three rounds but I gotta give a shout out to Meta, Tin Man, and C9 Wolf all in the top six right now and uh, not not part of those three teams that we mentioned so Williams Red Bull and Mercedes getting a good haul of points if they can stay in those positions yeah definitely impressed by uh, Wolf Okami here today uh, he's been hold, hold, holding his own you know uh, he's been there uh, in the top five top six throughout the entire race and uh, yeah it, uh, think he deserves a mention uh, maybe he can make, uh, make some moves especially on the soft tires the more laps you drive behind a safety car the better those tires will be at the end so uh, you know he'll have more of an advantage maybe going into the final uh, few laps but yeah safety car is in so should be a spicy finale last six laps last seven, seven laps. laps yeah last seven laps Speedy is going to be leading us away once again. Oh, no, sorry. DK is going to be leading okay. us away. One of the Sours. But Speedy in the vision behind. He is looking to get a good jump tonight. And there goes DK. We're off. Orlando is close in behind. Cursely without the penalty and on the optimal strategy right now. Uh, what are we in store for here? It has been twists and turns all night long. But we are green on lap 30 of 36. Who is oh, going to take the win tonight? McGrib losing a few positions, down to P13 now. Sold flat top, losing a few positions. AO up into P11. Speedy and uh, Orlando fighting side by side. And this is the team game that I was talking about. Now if these guys play smart, DK can hold Speedy up, but no, Orlando's trying to make a move down the inside. 
Speedy he goes through. Up. This is a horrible camera angle. Let's see what Orlando can do. Can, uh, or sorry, DK can do. Can he defend Orlando? Orlando with that grippier tire of the mediums uh, moves up into P2. Orlando. Yeah. Orlando's up into P2. That, that was really dicey through there in the infield section, but he managed to get that position done. Uh, Speedy and DK, maybe a bit of a miscommunication there. It looks like that position should have been swapped a little bit sooner than it was. And uh, that's what's left. DK uh, losing two positions on that restart. Meta Kestro maintaining his. But look at this. M1K, who was down all the way in the back in this race. He's back up to P5. So is Chipman. He's in the points in P9. And another safety car has helped him. Tin Man fighting off the position in P6. Trying to throw M1K back down the order. But he cannot get it stuck. As Wolf Okami looking to make a move down the inside uh, of the Red Bull driver on those soft tires of Mercedes uh, is now back into P6. But, oh, Hysteria and the Tin Man going too wide. Wow. Hysteria trying to make a move around the outside, but no, Tin Man shuts the door. But it will turn to the inside, though, for uh, Hysteria. But he gets a better drive, does uh, uh, Tin Man. It is unbelievable how, like, you have to pick your battle so smart here because. Look at that, how much time Tim Man lost. And just because he tried to make a move on C9 Wolf, uh, or sorry, he tried to make a move on M1K, which cost them time, and C9 Wolf was able to move, make a move on him. While they were battling, Hysteria got up alongside him, and uh, he almost lost another position and lost a heap of time to those ahead. Look at this, DK Nortec losing the position, potentially to um, Meta Kestrel. M1K, three wide, exiting the Curvo del Sol. Wow, these guys are going three wide into just now. <laughs> oh, sorry, Desita Delago and uh, M1, uh, sorry, Meta able to maintain the position. DK still fighting though on those hard tires, 18 lap old hards. M1K uh, losing a bunch no. of positions. C9 Wolf making a huge move up into P5 there. We've got a yellow flag and another safety car. What? We've got another safety car. Oh my god! What? ASAP Loggy retires. Oh, he's been it out of the pits, I think. Oh my god. And Witcher gets a drive through. Oh no. Oh my god. Just when we thought this race couldn't get any more hectic, we're gonna have another safe star restart with about two laps to go. Basically a green white checkered. This is <laughs> this is it, Potty. This can this has to be the last one. And Oh my goodness, was that ever hectic there to start that one? Everybody was thinking that that was the last safety car and was absolutely going for it. Um, going up into uh, turn six there, turn six and seven, I was, I was, I had to close my eyes. I was, I could not look, but uh, yeah, here we go. Nobody opting for the pit, not surprising. Everybody's just called the pit stop, so uh, it would be a good chance to look at the penalties and see who could be losing out because of this obviously uh ZZG speedy with that three second penalty uh c9 wolf also unfortunately with the three second penalty having such a good race up in p5 um obviously that strategy at the start kind of unraveling but he's bounced back and he's made the most of it tonight uh like i said an, an extra safe scar coming out could potentially negate his his uh, fortune start but yeah i mean uh i think uh, you, you know, Speedy was slowly pulling away, uh, but now he, he's, with two laps to go, that three-second penalty is going to be really costly for him. Uh, you know, DK still up there, still fighting. Uh, if uh, DK is able to hold up guys like Tin Man and Wolf Wakami, Hysteria, M1K, uh, uh, Meta Kestrel could pull up alongside the leaders, maybe even win the race. As I see that, uh, as I see. Oh my, my goodness, is, is that is rain? raining? Is yeah. that rain? Oh, we this is gonna say. tighten things up. Oh. We did say oh. earlier, if another safety car comes out, it could bring that rain a little bit closer. It, it says overcast now, but rain in five minutes. Oh, M1K going into the pits. M1K oh. is pitting. It is raining. Wow. It's raining right now. It could be interesting though, because 
he has to pit and cast the safety car by the end of this lap. If not, uh, you know, the race is going to start at the end of this lap, no matter what. Oh, he's going in for a wing change, actually. And also the Inter, so uh, it's going to be hard for him to catch up, but, uh, you know, uh, oh my maybe it could be the master stroke. It knows. could be a master class. It is starting to rain much quicker now. It already says light rain. Uh, has changed from the forecast to over from overcast to light rain. What a race we're we've had tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be uh, an all-time toss race that we've had. Absolutely bananas from lights out to the uh, checkered flag so far. Um, just want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. What what a race it's been. What are we in for here, Devil Orlando? Is going to be leading the field. But we've got uh, Sauber with a penalty in P2 and a Williams. No penalties in P3. Um, it's it's uh, well, I, I, well, I'm, I'm going to tell you who's, who is it going to suck for. It is DK because he's on 20 lap old hard tires. And, uh, you know, with the lack of grip already with such old tires, he's not going to be feeling a lot, uh, you know, a lot of grip, especially with the rain uh, and the temperatures. Uh, it's so hard to gain temperature for those tires. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I hope he holds on though, we'll see, as the safety car goes in, and uh, we're set for two, two laps. laps to finish out this Brazilian Grand Prix here in AM2, and look at that, Orlando got a great jump, but Speedy not getting a great jump, oh, better Kestrel's down the inside, and he's all the way into P1, pushing Orlando off, there's contact, oh my oh. god, Orlando's losing, but there's Tim that's through, Hysteria's through, this is Absolute chaos! It is wet, wet! That's Mercedes oh. into the wall! He hey, was retired! Mercedes oh, against oh, Mercedes contact! Wow! <laughs> this has unraveled! Wow! Uh, Speedy, uh, he Speedy has a one point gone. Oh, it's Sauber's up the track again now! Where is Okay, no grip on those hard tires. He's sliding all over the place. Where is M1K? Is he pulled a master stroke in strategy here because he is on those intermediate he's tires in he's up in the p10 already is he going to be able to make any inroads with these final few laps the rain is coming down oh, oh no a huge collision three oh, cars are on the track and m1k goes through up in the p7 i can't believe this this is absolute <laughs> madness to finish this what race what in this m1k up in the p6 He's got one more lap to go. Is he going to be able to finish out oh, this race uh, with a triumph? There's a loose uh, Aston. There's a loose Aston. Aston is completely Damn. lost the back end. McLaren is just ahead. Chipman in P4. He's got the slipstream. He's going into turn one. There's only a few seconds to P1. This is insanity. Wow. What, what is happening? Um, Speedy, 3.4 seconds. He's going to win the race. Tin Man in P2. He's M1K gonna, up into P4. He's going to win the race on the track. But that the thing is, M1K, no penalties. ZZG Speedy does have a penalty. If he can get ahead of Meta, he's already passed Tin Man the Rowdy. Wow. Meta is just ahead. He's getting past him. Is Meta, M1K going to win this race? 3.5. 3.4, 3.2, I don't think he's going to win it with the penalty. I think he's going to win it on track tonight. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. You can just see Meta the back and... wing of the Sauber here with half a lap to go. What a M1K. race this has been for M1K. M1K with the inters, with the missing white end plate. He's now with the lead of the race. Going into the final corner, he's going to take it on track. What a master class from the Haas. What a finish to this race. And the man who could not fully enjoy his first victory with the half points with the safety car glitch, he comes home with the two most exciting laps I've ever seen in contest of speed. M1K wins the race. Congratulations, the Brazilian Grand Prix winner. What a classic we've had, ladies and gentlemen. And Meta finishing out that podium. Everybody besides M1K on these slick tires and M1K with a master stroke in strategy. What a finish. What a race. The safety car overlay was on the entire time, but that was insane. I'm so sorry, everybody. That was crazy. Wow, the last lap was insane. I mean, 
the amount of grip M1K had on those uh, deservedly driver of the day. He was last, I think, when the safety car came out. He, uh, we were questioning if he will even make it, and oh. he goes on to win the race. Do what a, what a drive. I have never been so excited in my entire life, but that is... That is contest and speed, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not part of this, if you're not into this, get yourself in the league. This is uh, the excitement that we bring. Uh, not every week. This does not happen every week in the Middle East, but man, that was that was something else. Because uh, wow, what what a race we just experienced. M1K, certainly so enjoying that champagne. Uh, what a finish to that one that we had, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Brazilian Grand Prix here in AM2. Just wow, so we can see the finishing order there. M1K taking that uh, taking that win with the Haas. Uh, absolutely triumphant victory. Those final two laps, unlike anything else I've ever witnessed in league racing ever. I have to admit, that was some finish. Speedy managing to keep that P2 though. So that's not bad for him with uh, the penalty that he had and with those tires that he's working with. Meta P3, Tidman P4, Hysteria P5, Sweens P6. Oh my god, look at the order. Chipman and Orlando unfortunately not having the race that they were looking for. But Mr. Bowen P9 getting some points and DK rounding out your top 10 positions. What a race we had, uh, Red Devil. I can't believe that we were uh, so privileged I to enjoy that one. Uh, man, what, what a race. Yeah, I can't believe I jumped in uh, for this one. It was a banger. Wow. Uh, yeah, it, the last couple of laps, I mean, there were incidents. There, There is going to be controversy, but it, you know, it provided some great action for everybody who's watching, which we love. But yeah, I uh, really enjoyed that one. Really enjoyed that one. You can see a little bit of the chaos there as we had at the start of the replay, uh, the safety car there. Uh, the first corner in the safety car, two Mercedes coming together. Orlando losing a couple positions. Speedy taking off in the distance. And uh, yeah, what a race we had. We'll get the top three in here to, just to see their thoughts about the race. Hopefully get M1K in here. I know yours doesn't but Man, what a race from him. I, uh, I can't believe that. We will be back in just a moment, guys. Thank you so much. We'll be back. Welcome back to Contest of Speed. Contest of Speed. Contest of Speed. Contest of Speed. Contest of Speed.
welcome back everybody just got a couple people joining the interview booth now let me see who's here what's up what's up what's up oh what's up speedy oh man what a race we just had that is i <sighs> i wish i was a better commentator because i could not do that action <laughs> justice um absolutely bonkers <laughs> <laughs> bro, uh, I don't know. Bonkers was not the word, bro. That was <laughs> that was insane. Dude. That was an insane race. You could have scripted it better. But anyways, uh, we'll, we'll get the interviews underway. Uh, Speedy, my man, good to have you in the interview booth here tonight. Um, you gotta talk me through your race start because honestly, I didn't see how you got to P1. I just saw the absolute chaos that happened through the first few turns. Obviously, Chipman and Red Arrow getting together, uh, Red Arrow getting out of the session and the BSC coming out, but all of a sudden, you were in the lead of that race and you were kind of in control for the most part all the way until the rain came. So, I just want to know, how was that race start for you? Uh, it was it was pretty strong. I mean, uh, unfortunately, what happened with uh, the top, you know, uh, first and second, but uh, which was crazy, like watching from my POV was very crazy just watching that. But uh, it was, you know, very unfortunate. But uh, after that, I just, you know, try to lock in and, you know, try to try to run away with it. Um, basically, I think my um, I was trying to, at least I got the three seconds because uh, I was kind of going over, I was just pushing it to the limit, trying to push it to the limit, but I was just going over the um, line too many times. So I didn't keep time, like keep count of how many warnings I had. So when it counted that three second came up and kind of hurt me but you know definitely uh it did, did end up hurting you at the end of the race per se you didn't lose any positions from that penalty um the, the rain really is is what kind of uh uh threw it all out the window for for a few drivers uh m1k was the biggest benefit from that but um we saw earlier on in the race with one of the safety car starts i think the one before that um DK Nortec, your teammate, obviously, had, had opted to stay out on the hards. You had jumped in for the mediums and, and got some fresh rubber. And then there was a bit of a, a moment between you two going through the infield section. Uh, just want to see your point of view on that. What went down when you guys were, uh, you know, kind of switch positions there, but it looked like a little bit of a close moment between you guys. Uh, so basically, uh, cause I was, you know, I'm on, I'm in the call with him and stuff. So uh, basically, uh, we were trying. I was like, all right, basically. If you can get him and you can hold him on that side and I, and I can get on the side of him, if I can get on the side of Orlando and you can hold him on that right side, we'd be good. But <laughs> how things was and like how how his setup and how my setup was and how things was going is all bad. It didn't go it didn't go as well. But uh, it uh it ended up you know slingshotting me to, to first, but I I kind of wanted him to you know still be in second while it happened. But you know. It, it didn't go how things, you know, how we thought it was going to go, but, you know, we just got to practice it more, so. It's a it's pretty close battle between you, McLaren, and, uh, uh, sorry, Haas. Um, they're not scoring as well tonight, they're the leaders. Um, but this is like the triple header before Christmas. Two more races to go. Uh, you guys looking to make a little bit of inroads for the constructors? Uh, you guys feeling pretty confident with the next two races coming up? I think it's Portugal, Baku? Uh, I'm actually, you know, if if those are the tracks, I'm actually, I'm actually very confident at them. Um, I honestly didn't like Portugal like in 2021, 2022, but uh, I'm, I started to love it actually. Far as uh, 23 and 24 now, so and then Baku was one of my favorites too. But I just haven't raced it in a couple seasons and stuff. But you know, it should be pretty, you know, pretty strong races for us. We just gotta, you know, just lock in and you know practice a little bit and get our communications and stuff down but things should be all right we should come in you know with a strong performance 100 percent, yeah uh you got you guys like pretty strong tonight as well uh dk and yourself pretty pretty dynamite duo i have to say um but uh yeah great performance from yourself couldn't have done much more except for absolutely gamble on the inters like m1k did and a little bit easier for him to do at, at when you were uh you're leading the race did you ever think about going for the interest as the rain started to fall down in that final safety car? Uh, uh, kind of, but no, because I was so scared. I did not want to lose that podium at all. I was just like, man, if nobody was pits, we good, because I my, I have a more of a higher down, like, like more of a higher downforce, like, you know, more high wings and stuff, and then more people. So 
I was like, well, if I can keep keep it on the track and stuff, a lot of people probably got, it's racing like you know like like 32 and under wings and stuff. And so I was like, if I can pull away for this, I can be all right. So things were looking kind of good, and then I saw, then I heard in one K just creeping up, and I said, ah, well, you know, that's part that's part of the race right there. So I mean, good you know good stretch, good strategy call on him and good gamble for him. That's 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 really yeah. Definitely, yeah. It, I, I can't believe it worked out. We were talking about if he would even get in the points, but he had, ended up winning the race. Um, absolutely shocker of a, of a finish. And uh, yeah, what what we deserve after getting absolutely shafted by EA last week and the, the safety car glitching. But uh, yeah, uh, great race, dude. Congratulations again on, on that P2. Uh, really solid race. And, and like you said, um, not much more you, you could have done uh, with, with the tires you were on and, and, and the penalties that you had. You, you did really well. So congratulations. Good solid P2 for the Sauber. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no worries. Uh, it looks like we actually had another uh, podium finisher join the booth tonight. Uh, that's going to be Meta in the Williams. Claiming that final podium position, Meta, it was absolutely chaotic race. And uh, you seem to just quietly uh, find yourself in the P3 tonight. You want to talk us through uh, a little bit of the uh, of the race and, and how it unfolded from your perspective? I'm not too sure many people want to hear from me right about now, but um, it was a great race. I did find myself in the con in chaos amidst the chaos the whole race. Um, the weather changing conditions really got me at the end, as everyone saw. That was a good battle, a great battle up until that point. Um, I'm thinking about the panel just going forward, but my apologies to the drivers. And then I tell, that's my bad man. That was fight about us. Yeah. Really it. it looked like a, a couple moments out there, but we did see you also kind of uh, hold back after those happened and, and do, do the sportsman-like thing. So uh, very good on you for that. Looking out for your uh, your teammates and racing fairly out there. Um, Williams uh, haven't been necessarily in the conversation for the top constructors so far this season, but you and ASAP had a pretty decent performance tonight. Uh, this is, like I mentioned to Speedy, like the final triple, he triple header before we go to, to the Christmas break and, and the final six races of the season, uh, final half. What, what are you thinking uh, for the, Latin, the next two going into the break? Portugal, Baku, a uh, couple wild cards in the calendar. Uh, what, what do you think is possible there? Good question. Kudos to ASAP too, man. Good race today. And honestly, the next couple races aren't my strongest. I need to chat with him some more to see where his pace is, but I'm hoping for the best, man. I've been keeping it clean all year up until the, all season up until this point. And I wanna clean my slate after this one. Get it back. Yeah. Time to, time to push now. Uh, f find your groove and find your way into that championship. It would be awesome to see a, a fourth team kind of join that conversation and, and uh, uh, join, join for that constructors fight. But um, yeah, great race, Meta. Yeah. Uh, great to talk to you tonight. Uh, was it your your first podium so far? Or I, I can't first, remember your stats. First ever, first ever first podium ever. in contest speed. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're still here in the chat, first of all, you know, thank you for sticking out all the way to the end, but also give a massive shout out to Meta in the chat for his his first podium here in Contest of Speed, that's a absolutely a huge milestone. Um, everybody kind of remembers their first podium, first win, kind of that kind of thing. So congratulations. And if I'm not mistaken, it's your first kind of league that you're participating in. So Yeah, it is, man. Uh, Sweet. I feel like I'm in a cool down room and I may be getting kicked out after this. But <laughs> until no. then, I, I enjoy it. So Definitely, Thanks, dude. Man. Enjoy the champagne. You're on on the podium, spraying the spraying the bubbly tonight. So congratulations to you, sir. Uh, very good performance. We'll see what the stewards say. I think uh, there, there'll be a, a whole bunch of reports tonight. So those guys will be busy. You know they uh, they're, they're gonna need it. So, but anyways, good for them. Good for you. Uh, congratulations on that P3 on track. Uh, hope to see you pull a couple more throughout the rest of the season. How about that? Thanks. I hope for the same. Awesome. Well, we'll hope to talk to you next week. Meta, congratulations again. And uh, for all of you that are still sticking around, if you're looking to see more contest speed action, round four is not done yet. We've got uh, the, the premier tier in AM and EU, the American and European side of contest speed. Tomorrow, Thursday, that is going to be uh, 9 p.m. UK for the European side. And I think that's uh, 4 p.m. Eastern for the American side. But American tier one, 
tomorrow night, electric entree on comms. It's gonna be absolutely electric. You know, that guy brings the heat um, here in Brazil. It's gonna be a good one. Championship is heating up very nicely. But that being said, if you wanna catch more AM2 action, we had an absolute banger tonight. I cannot stress that enough. Um, if you did miss this race, if you're just tuning in now, Go watch it back when it's done. This is an all-time classic. This is my hands-down favorite race I've ever commentated on. These guys brought the action. It was action from start to finish. Um, cannot believe it. Cannot believe uh, M1K managed to pull it off. So congratulations, first of all, to him. We did not get to speak to him tonight. Uh, huge win for him. Most amazing drive I've ever seen in contest speed. Um, but yeah, that's enough. That's enough glazing for me. Next week, we'll be back for round five. That is the second round in this triple header. It's going to be Portugal, and it'll be next Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern. I think that's 2 a.m. UK. If uh, any of you uh, dirty Europeans are chilling around, um, you can join us for that stream. Otherwise, we will see you around. Take it easy. Peace. Welcome back to Contest of Speed. Contest of Speed. Contest of Speed. Contest of Speed. Contest of Speed.